2006. It's the year Justin Timberlake brought sexy back. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah, I just said that. And the year Gerard Butler launched a thousand memes by taking his top off and shouting the name of a place. This is never ever going away. Yes, we all know Gerard. But in the world of mobile gaming, things were very different to how they are now. The iPhone was still a year away from being announced. So, what were mobile gaming enthusiasts playing, and what were they playing it on? First out of the gate, you've got the Nokia N93, which had a mad, flippy, twisty screen and a camera on the side bit and oh, it's, it's a bit chunky and big. You also had the slinky and slimline Motorola Razr V3, which proved really popular because, frankly, it looked quite good. However, arguably the most commercially successful gaming handset of the year was the Sony Ericsson K800i. It had a colour screen, itty bitty joystick nub, big chunky pressable buttons. It might not seem like much now, but it turned plenty of heads at the time and sold loads. Arguably, true mobile gaming classics were thin on the ground in the early days of mobile. However, the big standouts from the year included the excellent stacking game Tower Blocks, which went on to kickstart an entire franchise. You also had Disaster Sim Tornado Mania, in which you take control of an actual twister and just smash everything up. But one of the big standouts from the year was a game called Stranded. It was basically a puzzle adventure in which you're stuck on an island trying to survive by catching critters, cooking food and planting crops. It was one of the most open games we'd seen on a mobile phone, giving you much more freedom than the average puzzler or shooter or arcade blaster. It even had a chapter-based storyline, and was described by Pocket Gamer as one of the most well-crafted games of the year. Eat your heart out, Telltale. That was 2006. Join us next time to see the birth of the iPhone and the future of modern mobile gaming. Thanks for watching. See you next time.